Hi, this is Dan Murphy, and this is the Password Pump, a USB device that manages credentials. With the device, you can edit and save credentials, and you can send them to your Windows PC as if they were typed into the keyboard. The device has a master password, which will serve as the encryption key to the rest of the passwords on the device. The master password is hashed with SHA-256, and then that hash is used as the encryption key for all of the passwords, which are encrypted with AES-128. The microcontroller is an Atmel Mega 32U4, which is operating at a clock speed of 16 megahertz, has 32K of program memory, which is now entirely consumed by the code for this project, and has only 1K of EEPROM. EEPROM is where we're storing the credentials, and 1K is only enough room for about a dozen sets of credentials. Therefore, more EEPROM is added to, in the form of two 25LC256 chips from Microsoft Chip Technology, which each have a capacity of 256 kilobits, or 32 kilobytes. The internal EEPROM can be protected from prying eyes by setting lock bits on the microcontroller that prevent an attacker from being able to see the program. The hashed master, master password is stored in the internal EEPROM, which is protected by the lock bits, and the encryption credentials are stored alone on the external EEPROM chips. This is the external EEPROM chip right here. This is the primary chip, and this is the backup. So now I'll log into the password pump, and you can see how, um, and I'll show you some of the features. Okay, so the first thing I see here is my find account. Um, option on the menu and if I click on that I can see all of the different accounts that I have loaded here for um, all the different sets of credentials that I have loaded. If I long click and go back up to the main menu the next option is to add an account that's the option I choose when I want to add a set of credentials to the password pump. I can log out from here as well which would require me to re-enter the master, master password to gain access to the password pump. I can turn the keyboard on or off that allows me to enter new credential sets through the keyboard. Um, I can turn the um, show password feature on or off. That will determine whether or not you see the password when um, credentials are typed into the password pump. I can back up the EEPROM which will move the credentials from the prime, will copy the credentials from the primary EEPROM to the secondary backup EEPROM. I can back up to a file, which will just dump all of the credentials to, a, to an editor, um, which I can then encrypt and store on a thumb drive. I can restore the backup, which will move all of the credentials or copy all of the credentials from the backup EEPROM to the primary EEPROM. And I can do a factory reset, which wipes out the master password and wipes out all of the credentials that are stored on the primary EEPROM. Okay, so let's see what the password pump does. On the right here, we have the password pump in the upper right-hand corner. And then we have some accounts that we're going to log into through the browser. The first one is Fritzing. And what I want to do is I want to locate my Fritzing account. There it is. And I want to send the username and password through by clicking. and it logs me in. Let's try that again with Yahoo. Navigate to my Yahoo account. There it is. Send the username and password through. And it logs me in. One more time with 5volts.org. Send the username and password through. And amen.